Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tsai, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'm running Simu on the macOS operating system on an Apple Silicon Mac. And a lot of people have been having this issue where they don't know how to apply or install updates or DLC on Simu on a Mac. So today I'm gonna to show you how to avoid issues like this where you cannot run The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. It's asking you to basically apply the update and today I'm gonna to show you how to do this. So if you wanna find out how to run and emulate Wii U games on the Apple Silicon Mac, then please make sure to follow my first tutorial. If you wanna keep up to date, and please make sure to subscribe to this channel too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna quit out of the game and I'm just gonna show you my CME setup. So I've got the game Breath of the Wild here. And if you have a copy of the game, you might get these three different folders. This is the main folder here, this is an update, and this is the DLC. And your instincts might tell you to install the update, you need to press file and then install game title or DLC. However, if you go to your game folder and then you try to navigate to the meta.xml, then this is not gonna work intuitively. You're gonna press open and it's saying here, update error file system in space, no such file or directory. So basically what's happened is that several updates ago, all you actually need to do is have the extracted files of your DLC or your update within the game folder of Simu. So for example here I'm going to go to options and then go to general settings and what we have here is the game path of all of our games. So you can add this one here, I'm going to add my Simu folder and this is going to be this folder which I have in Finder. And what I have are the DLC and the updates which are all kept here. Now what you'll notice is that because the update and the DLC are extracted, so we have these subfolders here, then this is actually gonna be picked up automatically by Breath of the Wild. And I'm gonna show you what happens if I remove them. So I'm gonna select both of these and put them on the desktop. And then if I control click here and refresh, then it's saying here that we have no DLC version zero. So I'm gonna double click. And then saying here, you must perform a system update. So we have this original error message. So I'm gonna click file and then quit. We'll open up CMU again. And basically what I'm gonna do is move the DLC and the update back into the folder, and then we'll control click to refresh. And then this changes from version zero to version 208. I've got the DLC 80, so I'm gonna double click here. So it takes a few seconds, but basically the game has loaded up correctly. So all you have to do is make sure that you have the extracted game files of the update and DLC within the game folder. And that's how you go ahead and install updates on the macOS version of Simu. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.